Good day, dear students. In this video, you are going to learn about line graphs and linear graphs. Before going to plot the line and the linear graph, where and all it has been used, applications of line graph. Line graphs are used to track changes over short and long periods of time. Straight line graphs are used in the research process and the preparation of the government budget. Straight line graphs are used in chemistry and biology. And straight line graphs are used to estimate whether our body weight is appropriate according to your height. The following table depicts the maximum temperature on the seven days of a particular week. Study the table and draw a line graph for the same. Day and temperature in degrees Celsius. The day is taken along x-axis and maximum temperature in degrees Celsius along y-axis. One day the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. We take one division as 5 degrees Celsius. Sunday 25 degrees Celsius. Monday 28 degrees Celsius. Tuesday 26 degrees Celsius. Wednesday 32 degrees Celsius. Thursday 29 degrees Celsius. And Friday 34 degrees Celsius. And Saturday 31 degrees Celsius. Consider the following input-output table. Draw a line graph for it. The input is taken along x-axis and output along y-axis. Each division along x-axis is 1 unit and along y-axis it is 5 units. For input 1, the output is 2. For input 2, the output is 5. For input 4, the output is 11. For input 5, the output is 14. For input 7, the output is 20. Now, you are going to join all the points to get a smooth line graph. Now, this graph depicts the output for the inputs of 3 and 8. Ajita starts off from home at 7 a.m. with her father on a scooter that goes at a uniform speed of 30 km per hour. Her father drops her at her school after half an hour. She stays in the school till 1.30 p.m. and takes an auto rickshaw to return home. The auto rickshaw has an uniform speed of 10 km per hour. Draw the line graph for the given situation and also determine the distance of Ajita's school from her home. The distance of Ajita's school from her home is given by speed equal to distance by time. The speed is given as 30 km per hour and the time is half an hour. Both the units are same. If we cross multiply the distance is 15 km and after reaching the school she stays till 1.30 and she is returning back home with an auto rickshaw with a uniform speed of 10 km per hour. Now we are going to calculate the time at which she is back to home. So time is equal to apply the same formula speed equal to distance by time. Now you get the time period is one and a half hours. Time is taken along x-axis and distance in kilometer along y-axis. Now, one division is 5 km and she starts from home at 7.30 and she took half an hour to reach the school. So, she travelled 15 km from here and then she stays till 1.30. So, she is in the same place till 1.30. At 1.30, she is returning home at a speed of 10 km per hour in the auto rickshaw. So, we calculate the time duration is 1 and a half hours. So, from 1.30, she is travelling back home by 3 p.m. The following table shows the percentage of students who drop out of school after completing high school. Here, percentage of students who drop out of school. 2005 6 percentage, 2007 5.5 5 percentage, 2009 5 percentage, 2011 4.7 percentage, 2013 4.9 percentage, 2015 4 percentage, 2017 4.5 percentage. Study the above table carefully and draw a line graph to depict it. Here is taken along x axis and percentage of students who drop out of school along y axis. 1 division is equal to 1 unit, 2005, 6 percentage, mark a point against this percentage, 2007, 5.5 5 percentage, 2009, 5 percentage, 2011, 4.7 percentage, 
2013 4.9 percentage 2015 4 percentage 2017 4.5 percentage now you are going to join all the points to get a line graph the following table shows the percentage of students who dropped out of school after completing high school now we are going to plot using the graph to answer the following questions. In which year both the boys and girls achieve their maximum height? Who grows faster at puberty between 14 to 16 years of age? Age in years is taken along x-axis and percentage of full height along y-axis. One division along x-axis is one unit and one division along y-axis is five units. Now, at the age of 8, the maximum height achieved is 72 percentage and at the age of 9, 75 percentage, at the age of 10, 78 percentage, at the age of 11, 81 percentage, at the age of 12, 84 percentage, at the age of 13, 88 percentage, at the age of 14, 92 percentage, at the age of 15, 95 percentage, at the age of 16, 98 percentage, at the age of 17, 99 percentage, at the age of 18, 100 percentage. So for boys, at the age of 8, the maximum height achieved is 77 percentage. At the age of 9, boys achieved 81 percentage. At the age of 10, 84 percentage. At the age of 11, 88 percentage. At the age of 12, 91 percentage. At the age of 13, 95 percentage. At the age of 14, 98 percentage. At the age of 15, 99 percentage. At the age of 16, 99.5 percentage at the age of 1700 percentage. So plot the points to get a smooth line graph and we are going to find whether boys or girls achieve their height at which year. So both the boys and girls achieve their maximum height at the age of 18 that is 100 percentage. Now who grows faster between 14 to 16 years of age? If you find at between 14 to 16 years of age, who grows faster, the percentage of boys is more. Thank you.